has it. She's almost at 450. Penn State in blue, Stanford in white. Franti tools the block for Penn State. The freshman now into double figures with 10 kills. Haley Washington, the other freshman, has been kind of quiet so far. Two kills on just nine attempts. And interesting that Stanford has changed its starting lineup because normally they want a Jonaku in at left front, get her more offensive attempts. But because she's been a little ineffective on offense, she's not on the floor right now. She will be soon, but they changed the matchup. was able to get a ball in at the service line after missing her last three in that second set. There's a block for Penn State. Yeah, that's good for the Nittany Lions because that gets Hancock another serve. Yep, remember she came out of the shoot after they sided out. That is, received serve and put it away. She scored four more, led up to a 5-0 lead right at the start of the match, looking to do that here at the start of the third. That's her fourth service error. Three to one Penn State. For Penn State, there were not only lots of service errors in the second set, but the serving was easier when it did go in. Stanford passing at a very high percentage. 70% of the time they had the pass that they wanted. Through the block from Ayanna Whitney, the junior out of Norwood, New Jersey. Second team All-American. She has been leading them in the postseason with just over three kills per set. And the ace for the Nittany Lions. And remember, Courtney had... Sorry, Ali Franti had some success. Remember, she was the one who landed that serve into the corner for the ace. She's trying to thread the needle down the line and hit Brittany Howard, number 16, make her have to receive the serve, make the first contact before she goes to attack at the net. We asked Russ Rhodes about the freshman. He's got two in the lineup. He said, you know what, they're, they're young, they've never been here before, but they navigated a strong conference schedule. They played against some good opponents in the NCAA tournament, and we can't overstate the importance of the fact that these two teams played all year in the top two conferences in the country, the two toughest. Now, that has steeled both of them, and certainly the youngsters, to be on this grand stage tonight. Yeah, in those two conferences, the Big Ten, the Pac-12, there are just no days off. You're going to lose even to the worst team if you don't bring your A game. And that's a great and quick lesson that freshmen have to learn to be ready night after night. State, even though they beat Wisconsin during the regular season, the Badgers were the regular season champs this year. And then Penn State beat Wisconsin in the region final to get here. The back set to Whitney, the tip kept up by Howard and then jumped on by Whitney. Well, Stanford doesn't come up with a point, but you've got to love the effort, especially by Maddie Bug hustling off the side to keep it alive. And they and then they even almost get a hand under that fourth attack by Penn State. It's important to send a signal both to your own team and to the other team, just like Hancock does there, that no ball is going to hit the floor without somebody getting after it. Back set to Bo Cather. That one had some spin on it. Point Stanford. Watch Hancock. Get that one hand, and all you need to do is just get the ball up two or three feet in the air. Somebody will get it up and over. You may not get a swing out of it, but I like the hustle. Hancock looking to Courtney. Bo Cather got a wing on it. Nice up by Gonzalez. Whitney takes a run at it and misses it long. Point Stanford. Catherine 
serving with a Jonaku now up front. Lutz is out. Cox sets the middle. Washington it bounces all the way back across the net. The tip goes outside the antenna. Point Stanford. So very interesting quick plays here and Penn State just not able to control those and get themselves a swing. Cardinal on top, 7-6 here in the third. Hancock, a long way to go. Too tight at the net for Courtney, and then that's easy work for Bug. Boy, that's nice eye work by those blockers of Stanford. Most blockers you, you watch would have jumped, but they're looking at the hitter. See how they stopped them? They didn't jump. That's good eye work. And they earned themselves the point and forced Penn State into a timeout. 8-6 Stanford. And the decision-making by the veteran Cardinal blockers. They stay on their feet and get the kill. And uh, Texas fully focused, but it was not enough in our first national semifinal. Texas eliminated by unseeded BYU. The Cougars looking for their first national championship on Saturday night. Lacey Fuller comes on to serve. Penn State now down one. It's Fuller and Gonzalez, the defensive specialist and the libero that have been a critical element to Penn State's success. Coming in here, winners of 18 matches in a row. Ajanaku on the overpass and Inky with her first kill of the set. Watch how high she gets. Most middles are not going to be able to touch this boom boom play, but she's ready, and that's a good choice by her because nobody can put up a block in front of her. Plays too fast. Inky was introduced to volleyball as Washington gets the kill by her older sister, who actually used to play with Micah Hancock and play against her. And that's play by Washington. bread and butter for Haley Washington. Unlike that kind of play, you see how Inky and Jonathan jump off two feet and stayed in front of the setter. She's good both jumping off two feet and jumping off one. Haley Washington, a little younger, she's just a freshman, is much more specialized in that she's good off the one foot. She's going to have to develop that other part of her game as time goes on. Jonathan is now out, Lutz back in at 6'8 in the middle. Courtney tried to tip it over Lutz. Lutz now with the set to Burgess. Washington slowed down by the tips. Long back set to Bo Cather. Hancock to Franti. Point Penn State. They are having a ton of success attacking over Maddie Bug or in that scene between Bug and Lutz. They're not hitting a lot of sharp cross court because they know Lutz is going to be arriving late and getting their hands in the way. So they're hitting a much more line. We're just right at four. Back to Franti. Into the block. Lutz was there and then Lutz jumps on it. And a smile for her teammates. That one was too easy. Yep. And it was too easy for Franti. She just didn't keep the ball on her side of the net. Bug with a tough serve. Hancock a long way to go. And that gets Stanford the free ball. Let's good finish. She's there to block and it goes right off the head of Franny. Point Stanford. Bo Cather, the end blocker for Stanford. You see how she swung her arms. Both blockers swinging their arms to try to jump higher. First time. That end blocker's had success, and so what does Micah Hancock do? Mixes it up and doesn't hit it hard, but does the rainbow shot into the corner, earns herself her second turn at the service line in this second set, uh, in this third set. Got them out to a 3-0 lead the first time she was back there. Bug looking to Burgess. Had to go to the left hand to keep it alive. Bug the Lutz. Pushes it over. Slowed down by Grant that time. And a chance for Franti. Got it. 
Nice play by Grant, who was 1v1 with Lux and kept it alive. Yeah, good choice. I like it. Whenever you have more contacts on your side, the patience to just say, you know what, I'm going to slow the play down, pass it on my side, give ourselves a chance to make the second contact, and then the swing. Bug, looking to Burgess, got it through the block. Using Lux as the decoy. That's the most assertive certain swing that I have seen Jordan Burgess take tonight. She started out pretty tentatively, but that fast set leaves space between blockers. She attacked it with and precision. Also ends the serve from Hancock and then Grant straight down through the floor. Yeah, Grant made it look like she was going to attack. Watch how she was going to attack to about 10 feet left, and then at the last second, veers off, one foot, wide open net. First team All-American in the middle. You talk about some big shoes to fill. How about following Ariel Wilson, and then prior to that, Krista Harmato in the middle for Penn State on all those championship teams as Bo Cather goes down the line. Some really crisp offensive dis uh, offense displayed by both teams right now, and it starts with controlling the other team's serve, putting the ball right on the setter's head, and they get to run every option. So it's up to these teams to serve a little tougher. That's not a tough serve. And as a result, Penn State gets the point. Courtney now with 15 kills. Yep, this is what we would call a side-out battle, even though there's not really a side-out in volleyball anymore. Every serve scores a point, but when teams pass well and take that first, second, third contact, put it away, there's another side-out. In fact, we call those first ball side-outs, FBSOs. Pass, set, put it away. Pass, set, kill. And here's another one. That's about five or six straight by these two teams. Good execution on offense. Howard with her seventh kill. Good balance again tonight from Stanford's attack. Washington behind. Dug up by Burgess. Howard with a swing. Gonzalez was there. Courtney cross court, and Howard couldn't contain it. Fuller serving. Second. She was all over that shot, Fuller, in the backcourt, waiting for the attack on two. And Conk Washington gets another shot at it. Gilbert is there. Hancock tried on two. That looked like it might have been going out. Washington turned back by Inky. Kept up by Gonzalez. Courtney looking for a touch, doesn't get it. Both Libros doing a really nice job. In the backcourt, keeping the ball, keeping the ball in the air for their teams. Stanford up three. Courtney with a big swing. One shy of her season high now with 17 kills. See how she's attacking that space between the antenna, which if the ball hits it, it's out of bounds, and which would be an automatic point for the other team, between the antenna and the end blocker. Penn State's been doing that a lot this match. Stanford probably has to think about getting that end blocker, having her move out a little wider, shut that down. Looking for Burgess over the top of the double block. The freshman Franti gets a swing and she finishes. How yeah. about your passing percentage here? Both teams, this is for the match, but in this set alone, that's a 64 for Penn State, 61 for Stanford. What that means is 
How often are we passing the ball in a position to run our offense? Let's see this where this pass goes. That's not a good pass. And you can see the result was the setter couldn't put her hands on the ball. But both teams passing at a very high level this set. Stay for Emma, keep it alive, and Howard gets the kill as she dropped it over short. And that would be a freshman error. Haley Washington, instead of moving away and letting the backcourt players take it, watch Washington right here. She's going to step toward the ball and then stops. And the last thing you want to do is move toward it and then pull away. You just want to clear out space and give your backcourt DSs, defensive specialists, the ability to play the ball. Franti tries the tip and it gets off the hands of Lutz. Couldn't stay up quite long enough. Dominique Gonzalez, the Libro who Russ Rose says he wouldn't trade for anybody in the country. A member of their national championship team last year. Burgess had the solo block and it's brought up by Ford. Bug, the back set, Bo Cather. Here's Graff coming around. Boy, I sure like the transition work coming all the way around the court from block to offense by Mia Grant. What a job over the last eight years of the NCAA tournament. Penn State is 40 and 2. They are trying for their sixth title in eight seasons, and now they are up a point here in the third. Mia Grant again with a wonderful transition move. First she comes down off the block, gets a good touch to her left, then comes back around the setter behind to make the attack for the kill. Short serve causes problems for Penn State. Hancock! Back across on two. And now another timeout. A couple of quick ones from John Dunning. That's what they want to do, spread it out, set to one sideline or the other. The last thing you want to do is run it right at her in the middle of the court. Bug on two, couldn't put it away. Maddie to set Burgess. Long way to go for Hancock and uh, call for the double contact for the three-time All-American. to 25, got a win by two. Franti, terrific defense by Gilbert, and they couldn't keep it up out of the net. It was a great move and great up by Gilbert, but she has to keep that ball off the yeah. net. Remember, her setter is in the backcourt. She's going to have to run about 20 feet to go play that ball. Gilbert would be much better passing it straight up in the air, and now they face a third service turn for Hancock, but she has ended two of her three service turns with serves into the net in this set. Got the three points on the first set, but that ended in the air, and now this one ends in the air. Ricochets off the noggin of Burgess. So Grant's going to try to make it look like she's coming there, and then she comes, so she heads, kind of veers left and breaks off right, and that also is giving Lutz problems and opening up space. Lutz is going to need a little more help from her other, from her left side blocker on a quick play like that from Grant. With the pass to Bug, Bo Cather tools the block, points Stanford, and here comes Ajanaku back in, and Lutz will go out. And now you have a more mobile blocker coming in, middle blocker and Ajanaku, who hasn't had, to this point, as much success offensively. Eight kills, five errors for Inky. Hancock able to keep it out of the net to Courtney, chance for Stanford. Looking to tie it up, Bo Cather, and she's denied. Courtney and Grant 
Stand tall. Stanford got the play it wanted with the touch and even got the set it wanted from their system that they now use of having the middle blockers set the ball that's dug by the set. Oh, what a nice play by Gilbert off the floor. Pancake for Gilbert and the termination for Howard. Sometimes you just get a bad break on those serves that touch the net or roll over the net. What a nice reaction by Gilbert to keep it alive. Cup goes back outside to Courtney. She's tied her season high. Having her game of the year. And there's still going to be space between that block out there because they're setting so fast to make it four gets the same kind of offense that Stanford's running. And now it's 24 22, set point for Penn State. Ball looks to Howard, tries to place it in the back. Gonzalez kept it alive. Courtney brings it across. And a net violation on Stanford. And the set 